Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for being an electrical. I really appreciate that. Okay, now today, Star Delta Starter, uh, let's learn how to wire this stuff here, okay? So I've done a video of uh, Star Delta Starter on the channel already, uh, but it seems that uh, people don't seem to understand well. Uh, so uh, let me break down some of uh, you know the areas that really make it difficult for you uh, to understand. Uh, and also I need to ask you one simple, uh, uh, you know, simple favor uh, for me and for yourself, okay? Uh, it's good to watch the video at the end. I urge you to do that because doing so to help you to, you know, to understand fully everything because I cannot say everything in one minute, okay? So the video will be a little bit long, but try to watch it. Yeah, you will benefit. Thank you. Back to the video. Okay, start with a starter wiring. Now, uh, I will not go into all those other details. So, start with a starter, you know, uh, it comprises of three contactors, then it has a timer, uh, and all the other buttons. So, let me draw the circuit here, and then we explain it bit by bit, such that you can really understand. Okay? So, again, we can start with, we have, uh, that's the overload, then we can have uh, the stop, okay, and then we can have the start, and then we have the timer right there, okay. Now, I need you to help me and fall, you know, carefully. And if there is anything that I didn't explain well, comment below, okay? All right. Now, this is a timer. So in this circuit, uh, we have a timer. And this timer, it's the one that it switches between star and delta. Then, there's one other point that I need to make clear. When, you, when you're wiring star delta starter, you need to keep this in mind. One. Uh, the timer and the star contactor, you know, come in at the same time, okay? And then the main. So, meaning the main contactor comes in last. So, if there is any circuit out there that uh, engages the main contactor first, that's wrong, okay? Yeah, the correct way is the star contactor to come in first. Because, look, uh, you don't need to supply power to the motor and then later it connects the star. It's not practical, it's not right, it can ruin the motor, okay? All right, so now this is a timer. Okay, now I need you to follow along, okay? So, so we have a timer here, T, and then we have a main contactor, okay? So this is a main contactor. The order may not really matter, but so long as it will ease your wiring. So here we have a main, a star, and a delta, okay? So let's hurry up. going to draw here a timer and then a coil and this one now will be star okay I hope you're following this now, again, we will take it's supposed to be closed.
Okay, now we have a common neutral, okay? So, this part here This part here is a timer. Now, let me explain, okay? So we have a start here and we have a stop right there. This is an overload, okay? All right, now we have a circuit here for a star delta start, but you must, you know, be attentive here. So, I need to show you something. Remember, I told you that in this circuit, the timer and the star contact will come in first. And you clearly see that the timer, the timer contact here, the timer contact closed, it's where our star contactor is connected, okay? Okay, now, check. So, when you press here, this button here, when you press it, we have a button. When you press it, so you see that this timer, together with the star contactor, they will energize. Okay? Together, this timer here, T, plus the star contact will energize. Guys? This is delta, okay? So, I hope that's clear, okay? But now, the moment the star has energized, remember the timer, uh, it will start counting the delay because there is a delay. This is an on delay. So, it will delay uh, this, okay? For a certain period of time, maybe 30 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Then, if the time lapses, now, the timer will open this contact here and it will close this one, okay? So, the delta now can come in. But here is the catch. Remember we said the star contact will come in first, you see, together with the timer. Then, without, with just a blink of an eye, the, the main will come in later, okay? But now, since we want the star contact to come first, that's why this contact here, this contact here is, uh, sorry for my marker. This contact here, let me use red, is star, star auxiliary, okay? This contact here is star auxiliary, okay? So, that means that the main contactor to energize, the star has to engage first, okay? The star will engage first, then it closes. It's normally closed contact. Now, the main comes in. So, there is another thing that uh, I want you to note. Again, if the star, while the star is running, if the set period of time, you know, uh, elapses, the star will de-energize, and the delta will energize. But here is the catch. If the star de-energizes, it means that the entire circuit will de-energize. Okay? The entire circuit will stop. You know why? Because the main, which is the main hold for the entire circuit, it will have no power. It will lose power because its supply passes through the normally open of the star, which is now off. Okay, so that's why we have to go ahead and do this. We have to make another path here, okay? We will have to make another path here. Okay, so we'll have to make another path here. That means that if the star contactor goes off and then it opens, okay, it means that the main will still, you know, get its supply from here, okay? So, 
this one here is M. M auxiliary. And then this one also is M auxiliary. Okay? I hope, I hope you understand. All right? This is a timer. So when you press this button here, uh, this timer, together with the star contactor, will engage at the same time. And the moment the timer engages, it starts counting the delay that you had set, okay? If it's 15 seconds, it will count down 15 seconds, and then it will disconnect this one, and the delta will come in. But as the, de as the delta come in, the star will have also de-energized the path, this one here, meaning that without this parallel path, the main will go off. We don't want that. That's why you have to remember this. And the reason why we can't hold to this, because remember, this holding here is for the main, but we have broken here. If the main contactor was supposed to come in first, then we wouldn't be having all this, okay? We would have, you know, left only this one. Our circuit would, would comprise only this one. That's why there are some circuits out there that do not tell you that. And they are wrong. Okay? So, let me recap this. You have an overload here. You have a stop right here. You have a start right here. Okay? Now, when you press this start button, okay, you see that the current will be moving, all right? And it will meet here. It is closed. So it will just go to this coil and together also to this coil. Okay? And the timer will start and the, the star will energize. Okay? Remember, this happens at the same time. The moment the star energizes, it closes here and the main closes also. Then the motor or the drive will start running. But remember, the moment the star loses power after the timer disconnecting it and connecting the delta. Remember, our entire system will go off if we don't make this spiral path. Okay? You must remember that. Okay? All right. So, we have an L here, we have an N here. All right. The other thing I can talk about is these interlocks. So, these interlocks this is a star contactor, so this one will be delta. This is a delta contactor, this one will be star. These are just interlock. The same way we talked about, you know, the, the same way we talked about, uh, uh, what was that? The same way we talked about the forward and reverse in the previous video, okay? So this is just the same thing, all right? Uh, because it is very possible that uh, the timer can close delta and then this can fail to open, okay? So the interlock can help us to do that. Even when, in fact, the three contactor, when you're connecting them, you must make sure that the star and the delta are interlocked both mechanically and uh, electrically. Just like this contactor, which I keep showing, okay? All right. So, if you need to know more about the timer, I have a video link in the de description. Uh, you can go watch it and then understand how the timer works, okay? Uh, the previous video also, link will be in the description. You can watch that and come back and watch this one later, okay? So, no problem. Uh, hope everything is fine here. Remember, guys, uh, I have the practical video where I'm wiring this. The link also is in the description. I've done that already. But this one, I'm just trying to stress uh, the circuit. I'm trying to, you know, to stress the, uh, the idea of how you can really understand, you know, the circuit very well. So if you put these things together, this, what we have talked about here today, and uh, the video that I did earlier, you can able you can be able, able to understand 
I also uh, have the same on my blog, electricalsolutions.com, link in the description. All right, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate <coughs> your time here. Hope you've watched <coughs> uh, everything and understood. So don't forget to subscribe, to like and share. And sharing, I mean, you can share to only that person you think that this kind of information really helps them. So until next time, I'm out.